What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tech Reacts where every beat counts. My name is Matt Tech. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are one of the many who have found your way to the channel via the Lorna Shore to the Hellfire Reaction, thank you so much for being here and for all the, su the suggestions. I, I'm, I'm feeling slightly selfish today. I'm, I, I want to know how this monster plays these drums. And a lot of you guys had said that he actually looks like he's playing these things with no effort whatsoever. So I gotta see this for myself. Now admittedly, I have not heard the song Cursed to Die, so I'm only gonna be hearing the drums today. I'll go back and listen to the song. I probably won't do a reaction to the video unless I need to. I'll just go ahead and listen to that on my free time. But I wanted to do a uh, drum playthrough. This is Austin Archie um, on the Minel Cymbals. This is oh, cool. So, okay, so obviously he's he's sponsored by everybody that he plays with. Promark, I'm assuming, Minel, whoever else he plays with. So here we go, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, head over to the Discord, hang out with us over there. Uh, support the channel if if you can or if you would like to. You don't have to. But if you do, here's what you get. You will get you will get supporter only reactions that are just for the eyes of our monthly supporters. You'll get some hidden channels in the Discord. If you head over to the Discord, we're having fun over there regardless. But if you're a supporter, you get to unlock a lot of extra channels in there. Behind the scenes, some other fun little goodies. Plus, you get to make your voice heard every Tuesday of every week. Every Tuesday, we're gonna feature supporters' choice videos. Those are reaction videos that come exclusively through our supporter base. So, um, here we go, guys. This is Cursed to Die, drum playthrough, Austin Archie, the machine, the robot, probably grown in the lab somewhere. Um, I'm really interested to see how he does his double kick technique too. So let's get into this, guys. Here we go. Sweet setup, man. Okay, what in the world, guy? <laughs> okay, <clears throat> there's a lot of things going on here in just the first minute of this song. Uh, can confirm he he is using triggers on on the kick. And if I wish there was a good, I need to find a good shot of his feet. So bear with me while I find one. Couple things to note here. These, uh, this pedal, typically pedals, kick pedals have either a fabric strap drive or a chain drive, kind of like a, kind of like bicycle spokes inside of a chain, right? This has neither of those. He's using. They look like plastic, but they could be wood as well. Um, a couple things to note is that, and, and I'm gonna, we're on a drum playthrough, so I'm gonna get a little nerdy on the drums. There is a lot of distance between where the mechan, like where the, um, where the, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a lot of distance between the actual beater and the pedal. 
typically that beater is going to be right down here, hitting as close to the middle of the kick drum as possible. The issue with hitting the middle of a kick drum in music like this is, is the middle of the kick drum, the head, that's the place where it actually goes in the furthest and back out. He needs, he needs maximum rebound. So he puts these way up here. He, he, he probably does this for another reason in that this pedal, I mentioned the chain or the fabric strap drive has neither of those. This is, this is, this is an axis pedal. A-X-I-S is the brand here. Um, which means that it is, they're incredibly lightweight. Like you barely have to tap on it, which is why it looks like his feet are barely moving because you don't, you have to put in virtually no effort. And he has a, he's got a, he's got a longboard set up. So his, his, um, the actual pedals are long so he can move his feet back and forth. He can find that sweet spot. You don't have, see how his, his toes are like in the middle. That's, that's the perfect spot for them to be. So he's either got wood or nylon or plastic beaters because that is going to give you the weight that you need for, for, for when the attack happens, it, it has to come off just a little bit, but they are definitely being triggered by something. I don't know if, I mean, there's a ton of different triggers. Roland, you know, Roland makes the trigger. They make the the RT30 that you can get for your double kick. I don't play music like this. I just like I know a lot about how it works. Um, but what I what I don't know is I don't know yet. I'll have to do some research. How you basically tell the trigger to trigger or not trigger because sometimes sometimes he's just going. Dit, 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 dit. So I don't know if it's if it's like a specific velocity or what that he has the settings. Cause I know you got to set like your threshold and your gains the right way for the trigger to happen. And it's got to be very precise. Um, that doesn't mean he's cheating. He's not actually playing every note that you hear. And that's fine because when you're playing an hour and a half show, you can't play every beat like that every night for an hour and a half and stay like stay alive. Um, this is very interesting, man. However, no, okay, so what he's doing with his hands, though, is sensational. And if you notice when he plays faster parts, notice him leaning over the drum more. That's to get to get your elbow up and to get those fingers and wrists working instead of your whole arm like this. Because notice notice when he does those, those uh, blast beats, he barely moves his arm and it's mostly fingers and wrists. Check this out. See his hand? It's all wrists and fingers, baby. That's awesome. Yeah. That okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop too soon. Stop too soon. He's doing heel to toe. He's not doing heel to toe rolls because his heels are not involved. Look at that again. The heels are not involved. His heels are staying back on the carpet. So 
a lot of you guys were saying he's doing he was doing the heel to toe heel to toe roll. He is this is proof he's not doing heel to toe rolls. However, what he is doing, which leads me to believe that he's probably using wood beaters, is he's using the weight of those beaters to get double bounces, just like he's doing on the drums. But I right, it's the same thing except now it's now it's um now it's vertical instead. So, so, right? Same thing here. So he, he is getting bounced because I can see the blur. The trigger is just making it double time what he's actually playing, but he's still able to roll on the kick. It's really crazy. Yeah. He's putting in some effort right there. Dara's leaning over. Notice he keeps all of his drums real low, too. That's so he doesn't have to spend a lot of energy going in between them. And that's why he's leaning over to get to be as close to him as possible because he's moving around them very fast. How do you write parts like this? I just don't. That's something that I have a hard time understanding is like, where does the songwriting process start in music like this? And then how do you get here? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He's rolling now. I think that's the trigger. Uh, unless it's inside. No effort, bro. Look at him. He could take a nap. The triplet, the triplet doubles right there was a really different change of pace because he's doing a lot of sixteenths. Then he goes into the, this triplet feel. Listen to this. Nice. Oh, he follows the um he follows the guitar. The guitar does triplets as well. Nice. What a monster. Dang, dude. Is this an instrumental tune? Got in here. Hey, I'm Austin Archie, and these are the symbols you just saw me play Classics Custom Dual 18 inch China, Pure Alloy 14 inch Medium Hi Hats. 
Pure Alloy 18 inch medium crash. Classics Custom Dark 8 inch splash. Classics Custom Dual 10 inch splash. Pure Alloy 10 inch splash. Pure Alloy 19 inch medium crash. Bison. I, I love, I love the sound of um, odd number inches in crash symbols 17, 19, uh, 15. I, I, I love them. That's 20 inch polyphonic crash. Let's go. Pure alloy 18 inch china. Byzance 22 inch heavy hammer drive. Nice. I'm also using Minel drum honey. Drum honey. Nice. That was cool, dude. What a monster. Okay. I found something interesting. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the debate to bed. Okay, you ready? This is from this is from lowboybeaters.com. The beaters we were talking about, right? That he uses. It says right here, Austin Archie uh, prefers the extra weight and aerodynamic shape of the 95 gram standard model beater. Austin Archie from the popular deathcore band, deathcore, that's what it is. Deathcore band Lorna Shore uses a pair of standard wood beaters on his Axis AL2 longboard double pedal. It's almost like we need that. Uh, direct quote from Austin Archie. He says, my pedals are already light, so I need a heavier beater to get the momentum. When I'm playing faster, it helps me get a harder hit out of the pedal. It goes on to say, Archie also uses Roland RT30 drum triggers to help create the insanely fast double kick patterns that embody Lorna Shore's sound. He feels that the triggers respond best with a heavier beater. Another direct, direct quote from Austin, he says, for the band I'm in, I need to find the right tools and instruments to make that 45 minutes of incessant blast beats come to fruition. The low boys bring a comfort to my playing. They have great rebound and response. When I first tried the different models, we tracked it and compared how hard each one hit in the recording software by actually looking at the waveform. It felt so smooth playing faster stuff. I felt like I was in more control of the pedal. I keep my beaters pretty far back, hence the length that comes back farther. Um, I keep my beaters pretty far back, so I get that nice action. The moment I put them on, I thought, this is good. I also just like to support cool companies. He says, on the topic of flat striking surface archie thinks quote maybe it's even a little subconscious but making contact with the flat head really makes the most sense if you're trying to get a full overall hit when the beater is rounded you're missing that real smack the low boys are good for the audience out front and the feeling behind the kit you dial it right in that's interesting because his beaters in here are actually rounded in this video a year ago when was when did this article come out? This came out in 2022. This this article on low boy custom beaters. Um, I didn't see him. I didn't see him using these beaters in this video. But what a monster! What a monster! Crazy guys. Thanks for the suggestion. I I would like to do more drum playthroughs of of different 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 groups different groups. We've only done two. I did one with Ginger and Vlad over there, and then we just did one with Austin. So. Uh, any more drum any more drum playthrough suggestions, you let me know. Head to the Discord, support the channel, subscribe for more. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.